So Andrew, I've heard that variable rate mortgage amortizations are increasing. Why is that? Yeah, another hot topic. So what's happening is with that, you've got two different types of payments that you can have with a variable rate mortgage, either a static payment or a payment that will fluctuate depending on, on what the prime rate is doing. So in this, in that second um, example, if the prime rate were to increase, then your mortgage payment will also increase. And obviously if it goes down, then your payment will go down with it. Now, the other example of a static payment is one that a lot of lenders uh, and banks in particular have in place, uh, including RBC. And the way it works is that at any given point in time, when you take your variable rate mortgage, okay, so anybody that took that variable rate mortgage and it was at 2%, that's what your payment is set up as. And your payment will not change over the five years of that mortgage. What will happen is if prime rate starts to go up, then you've got less of your payment going to principal and more of it going to interest. Same thing when it goes down, you've got less of it going to interest and more of it going to your principal. So in theory, over time, it should kind of work itself out. But the issue is that in the last six months with the rate, with the, the prime rate jumping to the levels that it has, um, it, it's put people in a situation where they're paying back either very little of their principal or in some cases, none of it, which is causing their amortization. If you start with like, let's say a 30 year amortization, some of these people are up to 75, 80 years now uh, of an amortize, which is a negative amortization that you're talking about. So uh, a couple of things that people can do. I mean, the first thing that I would suggest is, is go in if you have a variable rate mortgage and, and have a look and see where the amortization is at. If it is in a negative situation, um, then you may want to, if, if you can afford it, increase your payments to help bring it back uh, down before, you know, once, once we get to a situation where the prime rate does start to float back down, then, then your amortization will start to come back down a little bit as well. But until that happens, yes, you've got a lot of people that are in a situation where their amortization has gone up on them. So I've been doing this for uh, 23 years now. Um, the last 13 have been with, uh, with RBC, but I was with the, uh, the red team prior to, um, to coming over to RBC. So I've been doing this quite a while.